I want to talk about the three types of attack in StarCraft, and I believe if you've been playing this game for a while you probably realize this on a more subconscious level, but I want to draw your attention to it because it can be useful when you deal with certain mutators uh, like Missile Command. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. The first kind of attack is the melee attack, which is uh, probably the least interesting one. As you'd expect, when I get the Zealot, I tell it to attack the Void Sliver, it'll walk up to the Void Sliver and start to deal damage. The next two types of attacks are both ranged attacks, and the first one is called Hit Scan. Now, Hit Scan has its origins in first person shooters, so when you click a point on the screen, the game's engine will take a look at where your gun is and where you clicked on the screen, and it'll draw a straight line between your gun and where you clicked. And uh, it'll determine whether you were able to hit the target. In the context of StarCraft, a hit scan ranged attack deals its damage as soon as the Marine fires. So this Marine is dealing damage to this Void Sliver. As you can see over here, there's no real bullets that are coming out of the Marine's gun. This is just like, this is just an effect that has been applied. These are not actual bullets that are being fired from the Marine's gun. So this is a hit scan attack. The last kind of attack is also ranged, and it is a projectile. So if I target this Viking on this Void Sliver, you will see that there is actually a missile that is being fired from the Viking. And in the editor, these are actually called missile attacks, but they are also sometimes referred to as projectiles. So, why is this important? Well, one thing is, uh, you can actually abuse the fact that a unit has a projectile attack. In the case of a hitscan attack, hitscan damage cannot be avoided because the marine, or any unit that has a hitscan attack, deals damage as soon as the weapon fires. There is nothing that can be dodged. But in the case of a projectile attack, you can actually dodge these attacks. And I'll show you now uh, what that looks like. So over here, we have a Reaver, and a Reaver uses a projectile attack with its scarabs. We are going to use a Siege Tank with a Hercules, and we are going to kill this Reaver without taking any damage uh, on the Siege Tank. And the way you can do this is by loading the Siege Tank up into the Hercules whenever the Reaver starts to fire its weapon. So I drop the Siege Tank, I fire, let's get a little bit closer so it can actually aggro me. Just like that. And this Reaver now has died, and we've taken no damage on the Siege Tank. So what we were doing is, as soon as the Reaver fires its Scarab, we load the Siege Tank into the Hercules. And because the Reaver's attack is a projectile, there is a certain amount of time that it takes for the Reaver to... for the Reaver's Scarab to target the Siege Tank and hit the Siege Tank. So in that time, we can load the Siege Tank up into the Hercules and avoid the damage. Another useful tip when it comes to hit scan versus projectile attacks is when it comes to certain mutators like the Missile Command mutator, which I was talking about at the start of the video. So, at a certain point in time, missiles that are being fired towards your base, usually the nukes, will come with point defense missiles, or point defense drones, they are basically the same unit, just flipped over. So, if you want to try and take out a nuke that is coming towards your base, and you use a projectile firing unit that can hit air units, the point defense missile can actually shoot those down. As you can see over there, my Viking is, uh, its missiles are just getting shot down by the point defense syndrome. But if you were to use a unit that has a hit scan attack, you can actually deal damage to this without, without the point defense missile shooting it down. That's another thing to keep in mind. Another thing about units with projectile attacks is that they can overkill a unit and therefore waste potential DPS. So in this case we have a number of Reavers and we have a Marine over here. 
what can happen is because there is a travel time between the point in time when the Reaver fires its projectile and when the projectile hits its target and deals damage, what can happen is that multiple Reavers can fire this Marine at the same time and you end up wasting Scarab shots. I'll show you what I mean here. If I move these Reavers into position and I fire at the same time, you can see here all Reavers have fired their projectiles and kill this Marine. Now you don't need that many projectiles to kill that one Marine there, but as you can see all the Reavers have fired and therefore you have wasted, in this case, 8 Scarabs to kill one mm -hmm. Marine. So when you are fighting with units which have projectile attacks, it is, uh, it is usually better to try and split the DPS of these units among several high value targets. So in conclusion, there are three kinds of attacks. You have the melee attack, you have the ranged hit scan attack, and you have the ranged projectile attack. The ranged projectile attacks can be dodged and they can be shot down by point defense missiles. Hit scan attacks, they deal damage as soon as the unit fires and cannot be dodged.